Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is a glorious Saturday morning, 76 and sunny, and just uh, so pleasant. No humidity or any of that crap. And again, it's a gorgeous day out. So I thought that I would do something a little bit different. I got a new cage for this A7C. When I first got the camera, and uh, you know, I get a cage for everything. If you've been with me for a while, you know that. Every one of my cameras has a cage. When I first got this camera, I ended up trying a cage that wasn't a small rig, and it just didn't fit well. I guess I'll put it that way. It was just a little bit too big, and I just, I didn't like the way the top like portion of the cage sat so high above the camera. It just it just made it really big and lumberous, it seemed to me. So eventually I just bought the small rig cage, which I should have just done in the first place. Now, while I like small rig stuff, sometimes they just don't quite get it right. In the case of the first A7C cage, it just wasn't quite right. Because at the top, they didn't have any of the airy holes, airy fittings, whatever. And uh, I had just bought a handle that had an airy connector. So I'm like, great. I just spent all this money on a fucking handle and I can't even use it. Now I gotta buy a different one. So I had a NATO rail from another setup and I thought, all right, I'll just get a freaking handle that's got you know a NATO, that can mount to a NATO rail. So I ordered the other handle and I put it all together. The problem was, is because that rail was so wide, I couldn't put a microphone in the cold shoe. Because, well, especially I couldn't put the Rode Wireless Go receiver there because it kept hitting the NATO rail. So I couldn't use that, which means I had to mount a, like an additional cold shoe on the other side of the camera so that I could use the Rode Wireless Go, which was not cool. I did not like that, but you know, it was what it was. I just see that they came out with a new A7C cage and this one fits perfectly. It has the airy holes on the top and the center. It has like everything about it just works out perfectly. But, but what's really cool is that it comes with like this silicone grip that extends the grip of the camera and of course it's grippy, a grippy grip, imagine. And it just, it, it completely changes the feel of the camera. Like it's, it's so much easier to hold now. And because I'm using the original handle that I bought that has the airy connector and it goes into the airy holes, it now has plenty of room for the Rode Wireless Go to sit up there as well. Of course, put my Peak Design things at the top since both connectors are at the top. Road Rouse goes on there, the handle's awesome, the cage is awesome, the handle that, that is connected to the cage is awesome. It's awesome. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go out and play with that today. I wanna do some filming. So I put on my 16 to 35 so that I can get the OSS, which we all know isn't gonna be great, but you're gonna have to deal with it. And then I put on my uh, CAN-F variable ND filter, because if you recall, a little while ago, I dropped my Freewell variable ND filter and cracked it. So, I, fortunately, I had this uh, this other KNF filter because, again, it is a gorgeous sunny day out, and I'm going to need the ND. All that being said, the whole reason that, that this is going on now is because I decided that instead of just going into the woods and taking pictures of birds, I was going to just go around Virginia Beach. And, and film and take some pictures. So I'm just gonna go around today, nice and leisurely, go where I go, film what I film, and throw something together. Now, I have filmed several times over this week whilst I was on the road, but it's all me sitting in bumper to bumper traffic getting pissed. <laughs> so I'm gonna spare you that. The other thing was that I had said last weekend when I had my four day weekend that I was gonna film and post something every single day Oh, whoops. And I did do that with the exception of that Monday, which was the fourth day of my uh, little four-day weekend mini vacay. I filmed, 
I edited, I tried to render, and it failed a lot, several times. And I started stripping portions of the video out, wondering if they were the problem, like the music and, and you know, the intro and this and the other thing. No matter what I did, that video absolutely would not render and I couldn't post it. And I had spent a good half an hour just trying to get it to render and it wouldn't do it. And I was like, screw it, I'm done. I had to get up early the next morning and spend the week with my boss and I was just done. So I went downstairs and had cherry pie and tea and watched cartoons. And that was the better thing for me to do. I still don't know what happened. And in fact, while I'm filming this right now, I haven't tried to, to edit a video and render it since. So I, there's no saying that it's gonna work when I do this later today. Let's hope, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be really pissed off. All right, that takes care of that. For now, let's just go out and get something to eat first. Hey kids, we're at Red Ring Park by the Miyazaki Japanese Gardens. You know, where all the uh, cherry blossoms are in the, I guess in the spring. But this time I'm walking on the other side of the street where I've never been. Because there's paths and stuff. So I don't know, maybe we'll see something interesting or not, but whatever. You can probably hear all the traffic because I'm right by the main road out there. It's a little bit cloudier, so the sun's not out right at the very moment, but that's okay because it's still awesome out. It is a very mild day. If it were like this year round, it would be perfect. It's very nice back here. I mean, other than the road noise, it's very serene. Last time I came here, there was a party going on like somewhere off here and the music was so freaking loud that, that it was almost unbearable, especially since it was shitty music. So I'm not gonna spend too much time here because I uh, told my wife I'd go get her a sandwich for lunch. She's gonna come home. We didn't go grocery shopping last weekend because I wasn't gonna be here all week. So we wouldn't really have a lot of food at home. Okay, kids, so after trying to get myself all set up, we're back in Pleasure House Point. It's funny because I decided not to bring, you know, the big lens set up to take birding pictures and, and I'm already spotting birds all over the place, but that's okay because that's not why we're here. Not that that isn't relaxing, but I just wanted to come here and, and enjoy this. Now, even though I have an, a variable ND filter on here, you can't use it to its like maximum. In fact, it's probably, let's see, one, two, three. It's like four away from max, because if I turn it up any more, I start getting that, the, you know, the, the vignetting, the X, and I don't want to put that in here. I didn't get quite as bad of that phenomenon with the free well. But of course, I dropped my free well and cracked it. So that's not doing me any good. So I think rather than walk back into the park, I'm just gonna walk up the street, get back to my truck and call it a day. And then I'm gonna go home and try to edit and see if I can even edit a video now. I don't know, we'll find out. If I can't, everything I've been talking about, you're never gonna hear. But if I do manage to get it, then you get a video for today. But for the most part, that's it. I just sort of wanted to go around, film today, enjoy this new awesome small rig cage for the Sony a7C, just a kickback video. So, as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.